Hello, my name is Bart Brecka. This is the third portion of a video where I'm creating a plastic soap dish using Creo 1.0. And in my effort, I'm trying to share some new new modeling workflow that uh, more experienced users may not may not have adopted. And uh, people learning Creo from scratch can can also incorporate. So uh, I work at Design Engine, where we teach a wide variety of CAD package packages, including uh, Pro Engineer Creo and and uh, plastic part design and die casting classes or Ansys and Mechanica. So I've already got a part uh, that I've modeled a moment ago in in a previous video, and uh, what I've got is a rib that's not 70% of the material thickness. So, you know, if, if you're new to Creo and, you know, you're looking for the parameter option where you want to assign a parameter, um, realize that you've got this ribbon. You, you know, ultimately you're going to go through each one of these and looking for a tool that you're familiar with. Um, what I suggest doing is coming over here to, the, uh, to this help button and typing in parameter course you got to be able to spell it right so I found the parameter I hit OK and I found it that doesn't really tell me where it is however it just opened up the tool um, I'm going to close the tool and share with you where the parameters are are kind of hiding in this new user interface so what I want to do is assign I'm going to hit the plus sign and I'm going to assign a, a THK and I'm going to create this at 0.09 shell thickness. Okay, so I, I, I did 0.09 specifically because I knew I had a 0.08. So I'm going to type in THK here instead of 0.09, which automatically assigns a relation. Now, as a product, de product design engineer, I've made plenty of mistakes. And what, what my plastic part design class does is it, is it shares with you all the possible mistakes one could make using Pro Engineer developing products and really workflow options for not allowing that mistake to happen in the future. So now for this for this rib, I want it to be 70% of the material thickness. You could create a parameter called you know 70% rule or something like that, SPR, and then assign that as 0.7. Here I'm just going to go THK times 0.7, or I could, if I had a 70% rule parameter, I would just say THK times 70% rule. Okay, so I'm going to hit OK and automatically create the parent. Right. So basically, I created a parameter with that rib. Now, if I want to adjust the rib, I have to drive this number up and down. Okay, and I certainly need to add draft to the rib. But what I'm going to do is just pattern the rib. Now we've got a bunch of different options for patterning, and if you're familiar with Pro Engineer Wildfire 5, this is not a lot different, although there's some new functionality. The interface is relatively the same. The hood looks a little bit different, but once you look under the hood, it's just about the same thing. So I'm going to pick a dimensional. I, I didn't change any of the options. I'm going to take the default setting here, and I'm going to say, you know, to my left in the direction the arrow is pointing is, is the positive direction. So I'm going to make a negative one and then r ratchet up this number a little bit. So now I've got six going in the, in, in the, other, in the other direction. I need to kind of change that number from 0.1 to 0.7 or something like that, or 0.6, so I can get an even number of ribs in there. Now I still need to adjust the height of the ribs and add draft, but that's a different exercise. All right, so that's, uh, that's it for my uh, presentation, uh, three-part process for the soap dish. Please consider coming to Design Engine in the future. We've got a wide variety of classes to offer, and we present that material in a very engaging way. Thank you.